part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and welcome back to the final game of the match between Tempered Steel and Tezzeret. Tackett started the game off by playing an Ink Moth Nexus. He then put a Mox Opal into play, and then went down to 18 life in order to resolve a Vault Scourge. Escoza then laid down a Sea Chrome Coast and passed the turn. Then Tackett animated his Ink Moth and attacked with it along with his Vault Scourge, giving Escoza a Poison Counter and taking him down to 19 and bringing himself back up to 19. Skoza then put a planes into play and passed his turn again. Tackett then made the same attacks as before, bringing Skoza up to two poison counters and making the life totals 20 and 18. Then post combat, he resolved a signal pest. He then put an origin spell bomb into play. Skoza then laid down a dark slick shores and then played a tumble magnet. For Tackett's next turn, he started off by playing an oblivion ring to get rid of the tumble magnet. In response, Skoza used the magnet to tap the pest. Tackett then sacrificed his spell bomb to make himself a mirror token and draw another card. After that, he put a Memnite into play. Then for combat, he attacked with his Scourge again, going up to 21 and dropping Escoza to 17. Escoza then laid down an island and then played a second Tumble Magnet. Tackett then played a Tempered Steel and then animated his Ink Moth Nexus. Then during pre-combat, Escoza used his Tumble Magnet to tap down the Signal Pest. So Tackett attacked with the rest of his team, which Escoza had to take, going down to 8 life and bringing Tackett up to 24. This also brought Escoza up to 5 poison. Escoza then used an Oblivion Ring to get rid of the Tempered Steel, however Tackett drew another one right off the top of his library. Tackett then animated his Nexus, and then during pre-combat, Escoza used a Doom Blade to kill the Signal Pest. He then used his Magnet to tap the Volt Scourge, so Tackett attacked with his other creatures, bringing Escoza down to 2 life and up to 8 poison. For Escoza's next turn, he resolved a Gideon Jura and forced attacks on him. Then during Tackett's next combat, he used the last counter on his magnet to tap down the Vault Scourge so the other two creatures hit Gideon, dropping him to two loyalty. Escoza then used another Oblivion Ring to get rid of the second Tempered Steel and force attacks on Gideon again. Tackett remembered to animate his Nexus again this time, and then during combat, Escoza used a Dispatch to tap down the Vault Scourge so the other three creatures went at Gideon, dropping him to one loyalty. Escoza forced attacks again, but unfortunately had gone to time so ended up with a 1-1 split. So leave a comment below telling me who you think would have won. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this match. You can find the full version of this video in the annotations at the end, along with links to previous highlights gameplays. And as always, if you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, and subscribe to be notified when more videos are online. 